Hello, this is Link Season Master. I don't want to have to make this vlog. It was already painful enough when I tried to weigh in on the totally not Mark situation. And while he did manage to get his videos back in the time since, well, not only was it not thanks to Toei realizing what the mistake, no, if anything, Toei does not refused to budge. It was YouTube who had to help him. And what makes this really problematic is that it shows that they do not, they are willing to break the p rules of a platform that they have no rights to. And YouTube will, doesn't really know how to respond to that. Because, yes, they're blatantly breaking their rules. But if they take a sigh, that's going to get the, put them in a situation that they don't want to be in. But they don't. I don't think YouTube is going to have a choice for much longer. And that is because of what Shop Pro, the IP holders for the for the Pokemon franchise, are doing to that dude in the Sway. Unlike Totally Not Mark, I have a little familiarity with him. I have I remember seeing some of his stuff back when he was part of Channel Awesome. Which, well, it feels like so long ago. But, while I haven't watched him that much, I know, I've seen enough to know that he's not trying to hurt Pokemon. He's trying to celebrate it, share it. But ShopPro has found the loophole. Because apparently, I've tried to do as much research as I could outside of his video too. And apparently YouTube has actually told ShopPro to knock it off with giving these trying to copyright claim people. So they're not even going to YouTube anymore. They are basically filing a claim in a Japanese court of law saying that Suede has to either pay the equivalent of seven, uh, like a certain, a pretty hefty sum in either American money and an even bigger sum in New Zealand money to either own up to some own up to something he's not guilty of and get his channel deleted ignore it still get his channel deleted and be banned from ever setting foot in Japan or take it to court and considering how the prosecution is in Japan likely lose he doesn't seem to have the option of bringing it to either a New Zealand court or an American court, court where YouTube is headquartered. Now, he's he's not the biggest YouTube channel. There are bigger ones, who, including those who also specialize in anime. But what they're trying to do here is set a precedent. They're trying to say, if this method works, we no longer ha have to even worry about YouTube's thing anymore. We can just say, screw it, we can cut around, close them, and that's it. There is, and the general consensus seems to be that with it, while geoblocking will be at giving everyone geoblocking will help with this. It'll still limit a market, and it won't fix the Japanese lack of copyright laws. It won't. It's already amazing to me that Japan even acknowledges that they have sexism in the workplace in films like Sing a Bit of Harmony or games like Persona 4 and 5. And I'm amazed they even go to acknowledge that much because they do not like this kind of attention. It's why, for a while, Nintendo seemed to be turning a blind eye to strings like LPs and certain things. 
but now they're going after the guy who is taken upon himself to upload video game music for games that have never had their soundtracks officially released or are at least currently unavailable to do so. So Nintendo's... And they're not going to try uploading his music elsewhere. That, that I mean, that music elsewhere. At least... And YouTube, it took them a really long time to even try to help Totally Not Mark, and while they have helped him... They've totally clearly broke the rules, and yet YouTube is not punishing them for it. They're pun they are lifting the punishments on Mark, but not actually punishing the people who did it, who are responsible for these blat these cruel accusations. Now, there's been some people who the title. Now, here's the thing: it's not like YouTube that in three months. Every single anime creator, content creator on YouTube is going to suddenly find themselves down in three months. No. But what is going to happen is if this hap actually gets to... let If YouTube does nothing about this, and I'm not sure they will, or at least not fast enough to stop this, there's going to be precedent. Any content, anyone from either in or out of Japan... Who so much as talks about... Because originally I thought it was just going to be if you so much as used a single frame of footage or even a screenshot. But no. Apparently, they'll do this to people who don't e who just talk about it. Not even mention it in their title, their video, but just talk about anime. They will feel within their rights to claim, to basically say, we're shutting your channel down. And I know... That Japan, and compared to a lot of play other countries that have embraced the internet, is behind on the fair use thing. They are very business-minded. But something I think they're still figuring out is what terrible PR this is abroad. They, If they want to have an international market, they have to look at the international market and their, and how they, and their fans... They can't just look at how they've always done things if they want to branch out outside of their comfort zone. We're looking. I have looked at this stuff. I'm trying to see things from the Japanese perspective. And it's hypoc- And even there, there is hypocrisy. Look at the Daojinshi market. They have bookstores, conventions where they can sell derivative fan-made works that are often really, really raunchy in nature for stuff that may not even be Japanese properties. Americans could actually probably sue... The, Marvel could... And Disney could actually probably sue some of these conventions if they sell, like, really pornographic stuff featuring M Mickey Mouse or Thor or any of that stuff. They could do that, and they're not. But Japan can't show the same courtesy. Maybe I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong. I would love it. If Toei actually apologized for what they did to Totally Not Mark and stopped doing it to them and him and every other YouTube channel they've done this to. I would love it. If they, if they realize this. Because they clearly ha are trying to have an international market. They've always tried. I mean, Pokemon. I still remember when it came to the States when I was in kindergarten. This isn't right. I don't even know if I want... Like, I I played the new Pokemon Snap on and off, which I've been looking forward to so, so long, and I still occasionally play Pokemon Masters and Go. Even though I'm way... Even though I haven't done anything past Sun and Moon. But now I don't know if I even want to boot up those games anymore, especially since I might have to replace my phone soon, and that means having to find some way to port all my save data for a lot of my mobile games over. If, will they make? Will they get any money if I just? Even though I haven't put a penny into any of these games other than Super Mario Run, because they locked that game. If I just so much as turn the game on, will they still be making money off me? If I boot up the new Pokemon Snap, just to try to make it a little further, will they still make money off me? If I DVR. Uh, 
One Piece, when it finally gets, now that it's back on Toonami, and it gets to where I've left off. If I DVR, if I never watch it while it's re- actually playing live, if I just DVR it, well, they still make money. I don't know what to do here. I want to boycott these things, because that's clearly... Because PR, bad PR often means people will not buy, indulge in your products. And if they want to have an international market, they need to understand this. Yes. And there's, unfortunately, there's really little Suede can do right now from the general consensus. Like, it has to be YouTube. And only recently, with Totally Not Mark, are they actually doing things for him. Because every time they've tried to get let Japan be, do this, they've screwed up. They do not understand. They keep blocking. The, he outright explains in his, his We Won Sorta video how Toei does not understand what the what YouTube is asking them to do when saying prove that he's doing this, and they don't do so. YouTube cannot keep giving these people a chance. They've outright... And I'm not sure... I think the only... It's like they, all they... Even the pe- official localizers for some of these things that have to do this, apparently have to block this stuff in Japan. Because they can't... Because otherwise the people that... Ju- they're actually... That these Japanese companies are paying to advertise their stuff can't ad- can't show this stuff in their own home... In the place they were created. And yes, this whole geo-blocking for everyone one will help things going forward. But here is a problem. The way they're doing... This loophole works. It works for also retroactively. Anyone could find this happen at the drop of a hat for stuff they may not even have on their channel anymore, publicly or otherwise. If, and it, they don't even have to be monetized, apparently, because they're not going... Because apparently the, the way they determined wasn't by mon- wasn't by the, how much money he made off their content. No, it was by how many views he got. I don't make money off any of the stuff I've done. None. I do... I've made compilations. I've made vlogs. I don't have... I'm not getting paid for that. I'm just talking about stuff that I love and enjoy. Or pl- trying to demonstrate that. Yes, I may express some critiques and... Shred, but they, but it's like they want to control the narrative entirely. Even outside of their own homeland. Which is not how this works. Yes, a lot of people consider the internet to be the Wild West. But YouTube's been around for near, for a decade and a half by this point. There's a lot that's been built up here, a lot of culture. Anime fans, anime... Co- and if this works, especially if YouTube doesn't actually start punishing these people, if they keep giving them the chances they have, there's one thing between discouraging and saying, don't do this. No, they need to outright punish them by saying, all right, you're not allowed. If you're going to keep doing this, you're not allowed to put any of your stuff on here. You're not allowed to. These companies aren't going to be allowed to advertise on their platform. They're going to be banned. Or they're going to start getting fined. That's what needs to happen. But YouTube's th- But if YouTube does that, I think it would cause the collective jaw drop of anyone who's ever ha- had a video even get a copyright claim. Or just even a notification saying, sorry, we have to partially block this, or we have to block it. Like, even if there's no strikes involved, just anyone who's ever seen that and going like, Some, if YouTube were to do this, it would be a complete 180 from how they've been up until now. What they've done for Mark so far is kind of unheard of, but it's... And if it, if it hadn't... If this wasn't happening on that just a week, af- not even a week after to revealed that last video, then I would call it a, what happened with him a step in the right direction. But no, because if this works, Nintendo's gonna go even more nuts. Not just blocking the music videos, but they're probably gonna try doing what they've done with LPs in the past again. Sega's been. Apparently, it used to also be really bad, and while they've gotten a reputation for being more reasonable about it now, they might decide there's no... P- they might... 
not want to try being like that anymore. They might want to go back to their old ways. Because things need to change. Something needs to be done. And I'm not sure, because if YouTube doesn't do anything about this attempted loophole, it's going to set a precedent. Because that's not just going to affect, especially if, I doubt it's going to happen all overnight, but a lot of, there's going to be probably more and more companies claiming more and more rapidly. And YouTube's going to lose, I can't pretend to know the actual percentage, but they're probably going to lose a lot of content, not just content creators, but content viewers. And they might not just limit it to YouTube. They might try other sites. Pixieve, Devi even Pixie, which is a Japanese site, might get affected, but places from DeviantArt to Dailymotion, Vio, Vimeo, Tumblr, Twitter, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, anyone who so much as mentions the name of an anime, if this works, because considering that's what they've done on these places, if you so much as mention an anime online, you're putting yourself at risk for getting told by a random company you have to pay a fine now. And a hefty one at that. It, it is a... I'm not saying who is actually in the legal right here to do this. That's not the point of this. The point is that it is a very cruel, mean, and just short-sighted, greedy move to do. I get that these companies do need to make money off what they produce. But PR can do awful things for stuff like this. Who in their... I know it's ruined games like Balan Wonderworld. And Square Enix is already getting a lot of flack for their NFT practices. This... And I know some of the people who have subscribed to my channel, whether or not they actually watch my views, videos in their entirety. Heck, they might even go on TikTok and saying, sorry, you can't do that anymore. You can't use this music anymore. You can't... You may not be able to cosplay at these characters and post photo, photo, photos of them anymore. Or at least if you do, you're going to put yourself at risk, because this could happen to anyone big or small now. Especially if this legal precedent goes through, because Japan's not going to care. Because they got a huge stink over this. I don't like saying to pirate things or do that unless there is no either no practical alternative or no alternative whatsoever. But why should we support these companies if they're going to treat their fans like dirt? No, by less than dirt. I love anime. My favorite show, my favorite film, their anime. And they've done so much for me over the years. It's been a, a lot of Japanese things have been a huge part of my life. And they mean a great deal to me. And it's frustrating when it's only some of my friends really understand some of this stuff. And even less of my family even really bothers to try to hear me out or look into this stuff. It hurts. But now I feel like, but between the limited screenings, this kind of attitude, the ridiculous things these companies are doing, I feel like they're outright trying to punish me for being fans of what they make. And I don't appreciate that. I didn't want to make this video tonight. I had gotten ideas from the, from when I saw us sing a bit of harmony last week to try my hands at writing what I believe to be the first piece of fan fiction in the in an English language for it on the internet. 
the first time I've done something like that. But no. I learned more about this, and it's been dominating my thoughts all afternoon and evening. <sighs> I don't think... If YouTube actually punishes them for doing this, if this precedent is stopped somehow, I don't know how, but somehow, it'd be a genuine miracle. Because I, I hate being pessimistic. I want to be optimistic. Because YouTube did actually try to help Totally Not Mark, and they succeeded to an extent. But are they going to do it again, and so soon? Because if they don't, because this, because not doing anything may seemingly help them in the short term, but I don't, but I don't really see that. Because more and more people are talking about this online. I keep, it's not right. Things need to change. Things need to change. And not the way that Shop Pro wants it to. Not the way Toei wants it to. Not the way that Nintendo wants it to. No. Things need to change in a way that is good for fans. We're not criminals. This may be a huge legal gray area right now. But you want to just suddenly either fine us or throw us all in jail over something? Over trying to express our love for this stuff? Well, you want to treat us like criminals for trying to express our love, for encouraging people to go view this stuff, check this stuff out. You want to treat us like criminals for doing free advertising? Do you really understand not on the ramifications of that. I'm not a big name. I doubt anyone, especially those with a say in the matter, are going to see this video and listen to what I have to say in its entirety. I doubt it. But you're more than welcome to prove me wrong. I challenge you, YouTube, to not let what happened with Totally and Mark be a one-time thing. I challenge you to actually get involved and not and actually enforce your rules yourselves. Not I challenge Toei and Nintendo and Shop Pro to look at more than just what's convenient for the Japanese company branches of these companies. Look at your international markets and realize that people are going to be a lot less willing to do business with you, to give you more time in their theaters, to sell your products, to great deals with you, if they know that the people who are buying this stuff that you're getting the deals to sell in their country, are going to be treated like criminals. Just for expressing their love of it. Or even constructive criticism. I am not threatening anything. I have no... Even if I wanted to, I have no power to do so. I don't want people threatening violence on them either whether or not you're in a position to do so either. That's not going to help. That's not going to work. But spread the word. I'm really sorry for how much of a downer this vlog has been. But I needed to say something. And I had to do so somewhere where it actually applied because just talking about it with my friends and family is clearly not helpful to me 
or to what needs to be done here. Anyway, I'm not, so in addition to Toei, I'm probably not going to do any more purchases for Nintendo products, or especially not Pokemon going forward, which sucks. I was actually saying that, thinking to myself, that the one way Pokemon Masters would actually get me to put money in is if they brought Wes, Rui, Michael, Mir B from the Ore games. But now even if they do that, I'm not sure I even want to log in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I had to talk about all this. Because... This slap suit is not right. You could say it's legal, but you can't tell me they're on the they have the moral high ground here. You cannot tell me that. You can try, but you're not going to succeed. Especially not when it would cuz who's going to want to keep making this kind of stuff going forward, especially when this stuff will apply retroactively if this succeeds. Who's going to want to talk about this on YouTube? And who say it's going to just be limited there? Money talks. I'm still going to boycott this stuff. <sighs> and while I can't real, you say people should do that too, you should at least do your research before you actually indulge in these products. Be informed that if you do keep buying this stuff and they ha before they, before or if, before they change this stuff, if they ever change it, these practices, know what you're supporting. And see if you can go to sleep at night. Because I'm honestly not sure I'm going to be able to go to sleep myself tonight with how stressed I've been. I'm going to have to do a lot of decompressing after this. Anyway. Good night. And good luck to everyone out there who talks about anime on YouTube in one way or another.